times a week. So things like empty review pages, we had we have things like buyers guides, which are actually when you looked at the user metrics, they weren't performing that well. So we blocked those using the no index. But actually, we didn't take Google's advice. Google advised that you block all robots to weak pages, but personally, I feel this is a Google-centric algorithm, so we still want to allow the likes of um, Yahoo and Bing to access that content. So we just specifically block Googlebot from what we consider to be weak content. And then we had some duplicate content issues. So this was kind of um, boiler, boilerplate content. It has been on the site for years, never caused us any problems, but now it felt like the rule book uh, had been rewritten. So we took this opportunity to remove all of that content. Um, so in terms of getting your site out of Panda, this is how I kind of see it working. First of all, you need to work out what the problem with your site is. Uh, you then need to make those changes. You need to wait for Google to then, to then come and call those changes. Uh, and then wait for Google to rerun the Panda algorithm. Now based on my experiences at the Review Centre, I've tried to put timelines against each of these points. Um, now, these times would be very different uh, depending on what kind of company you work for, how agile you are, how big your website is, uh, but actually I think these numbers are pretty optimistic. And what's interesting is that if you add them all up, it comes to about four months. So four months from getting hit by Panda to guessing out. Um, that's a long time. And that also relies on you knowing exactly what has caused Panda and taking exactly the right steps to sort it out. So if you, if you don't take the right steps, potentially you've got to go through this process maybe two or three times. Uh, and this might explain why we haven't actually seen that many sites recover from Panda. Um, so we went live with our new site on the 25th of May. We gave ourselves a two month limit. So if we hadn't come back from Panda in two months, we were going to put our absence back to the way it was. Um, so by July the 27th, we'd seen no improvement. So we've reverted back to our old absence layout. And in fact, I have speak to lots of other people who've been affected by Panda, and they started doing the same thing. So lots of people have now started reverting back to um, their previous way of displaying ads. Um, and still now, three months on, we've still seen no reversal to Panda. Which brings me on to the 23 questions of doom, as I call them. So these are the 23 questions that Google sends out to webmasters and said, look, if you've been hit by Panda, you need to evaluate, evaluate yourself against these questions. So I'm just going to go through a few of these questions I think are especially pertinent to Review Center, but not just Review Center, to any large user-generated website. Would you trust the information presented in this article? Is this article written by an expert? Well, no, we at Review Center, we pride ourselves on reviews being written by consumers, so we don't have any expert reviews. Does this article have spelling errors? Yeah, user-generated content generally does. Was the article edited well? No, we have to take the article verbatim. When someone writes a review, we just take that copy and put it on our site. How much quality control is done on content? Again, we don't do that. Is the content mass-produced by a large number of creators? Well, yeah, it's user-generated content. It's written by the public. Um, so when you look at these questions and compare them against Review Center, you can kind of see why we've been hit. Uh, you can kind of see why lots of review sites have been hit. Uh, and this is just a Google trend graph for a few of the big review sites. And that would suggest that lots of us have been hit. But um, this is why I love SEO. Whenever there's an algorithm update, uh, you always find outliers who don't quite fit in your data set. So even though all of these review sites have been hit, uh, as far as I'm aware, TripAdvisor haven't. Is anyone from TripAdvisor here? Okay. Um, so I started asking myself why TripAdvisor um, haven't been affected. Now, <coughs> generally, uh, I don't think it's due to Review Center having poor content. Google seems to love our content. Google will quite happily scrape our content, use it to build up a lot of their vertical search products. So he splashes all over Google products, all over Google seller ratings, uh, all, all over Google movies. They just, want, they just don't want us to rank for our own content. So I don't think it's content based because I think, think our content is generally uh, very good. Um, which brings me on to the way that I think Google calculates Panda. 
basically I think panda is kind of like a cumulative panda score uh, and this so these are some graphs with some imaginary data just to illustrate how I think it works. And the red arrow on the y-axis shows where you would trip panda and you would start to get panda waves. Um, so it goes through the 23 questions that Google would use their fancy machine learning algorithm um, to go through the 23 questions of doom. Would you trust the information presented in this article? Maybe review centers don't fare so well uh, as TripAdvisor on that one. Was the article edited well? Maybe TripAdvisor don't fare as well as uh, review center. And it would then keep going through all the 23 questions. And I think this is the big one. Would you recognize this site as an authoritative source when mentioned by name? Excuse me. 